That's the voice of one Paul Balochi with the single Your Name at 13 minutes after 11 a.m. A very good morning to you. My name is Tesli Banza right here on Pathfinder. It's great to have you. If you're just joining me, we've had a great time so far. And we're about to even have more great time as I have my guests with me in studio. I did mention to you that I'm going to be having Dr. Karanja and Jonathan as well. They were here last week. We were just talking about abortion. We talked about contraceptives. We talked about uh, so many things. And there are a lot of questions that had come through and I thought we can have them again to answer some of your questions in relation to that. But they will also just flow with us and tell us what we need to know in case you have any question. For those that missed last week, they're going to do a little recap of what uh, they talked about last week. But before that, just for the sake of those that probably are listening for the first time, it's great to have you both again. Thank you, Tess. Yeah, and uh, you can just introduce yourselves all over again. Okay. Good morning to you. I'm Jonathan O'Toole mm. of Project C. That's at projectsee.com. And I really want to thank you for giving me um, a little bit of a platform last sure, week to talk sure. to talk to people because the people who I was arrested on the 20th mm. and only a week ago, in fact, after we talked on Monday was when they finally took away the arrest warrant. Yes. And so those, those people who are trying to shut me up, I haven't committed any crime. Mm. They didn't even charge me with anything. Mm. Those people who were trying to shut me up because you gave me a platform, Mm. They know that whatever they do to me, it won't be done in secret. So yes. I want to say thank you to mm. you and Dr. Sure, Karanja sure. for that. It's a great comfort to me. Mm. Amazing. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for being yes. here again, Jonathan. Doctor? Good morning, listener. Good morning. Well. It's a wonderful day God has given us. And I, my name is Dr. Stephen K. Karanja, a practicing obstetrician and gynecologist. And es- and especially a lover of the unborn and all life in general, and a person who pleads with everybody to fight that what that which is evil in our country. Mm. Uh, I thank God for what happened jo- to to Jonathan. Uh, at least he was able in this country to get out of all the, what they had put him into. Yes. But like we say always. If you are with him, who can be against you? That's sure. right. That's yes. right. That's wow. right. That's right. We should wax bold. We should be very bold in speaking up for innocent people who are being killed, mm-hmm. like these little babies in the womb. I just showed uh, Dr. Karanja. It looks like a jewelry case. It does. B- but I have a case here. It opens up, and it has touch of life, first trimester fetal models. And we show them to students at schools. And, and the, the young women usually like them a lot. But even the young men, it shows all the way from seven weeks, which also our picture shows, okay. a beautiful, beautiful baby. Mm. So by um, seven weeks, there that's a baby. Yeah. Just yeah. seven weeks. That's the, almost the, two the, months the, plus. Or the recognizable human form mm-hmm. is their tiny little hands, tiny little at fingers. At seven weeks. Yeah. And even before... Not to detract from even before seven weeks, Mm. that is the human form. It's only that our memories have not developed enough that we can remember being that way. Mm. But you and I, as we talked about last time, Dr. Karanja, every one of us, God himself in the womb of Mary, if we're Christians, Mm. became incarnate as a single cell. So Mm. that's 100% as human as Mm. as the form that we're used to seeing. Yes that is more developed Mm. only. So when we're talking about the sanctity of human life and defending it, we should be very, very bold. And Tess, you you had mentioned to me that people had a lot of questions, especially in the area of contraception. Yes, yes, especially in that area because um, as Doctor had shared last time that um, uh, there is a way that we can deal with this that has uh, can honor God, yeah, and it doesn't have to mess up your system. And the problem is that people have no idea of that. A, a, yeah, the a natural way. Yes, and it's I, the I, information, actually. I'm, I'm going to, it really is. It's, it's true information. I'm going to defer to Dr. Karanja because he's the expert on yes. that information. But yes. before I do, I, I, I want to talk about the theological or the biblical yes, context um, for contraception. I want to suggest to you that in the Bible, we have a murder mystery. Yes. Someone is dead, mm. and he's not dead of natural causes yes. and that person's name is Onan one of the sons of Judah right that's mm. correct of mm. Judah uh, I believe we're talking about Genesis chapter 38 mm-hmm. and Onan was killed and he wasn't killed just by anybody or by, by a sword he was killed by he was God. one of the few people in the Bible <laughs> that was killed we by should God. pay attention because he was killed directly by, by God. God and don't think this is an Old Testament thing mm. we see also in the New Testament 
Ananias and Sapphira once again. So I think we should really pay attention when people get killed directly by God. I can think also of uh, Herod Antipas yes. killed directly by God, mm. or at least by inference. Jezebel. Uh, Jezebel. Mm. The soldiers laid hands on her, yes. but, it, but they were the agents of God. So Onan is, is almost unique in the sense that we don't know the agency through which God killed him. It yes. just seems like God killed, killed him, him. Direct, yes. directly. So we have, let me suggest a homicide investigation yes. here. We're yes. trying to say, now we know it's justified <laughs> if God is God. Yes. Because God did it, yes. right? Yes. How do you But the question me? is why? Yes. The why? question is why. I won't go through the whole passage here, but I as we talk about the story in this homicide investigation of Onan, I want to suggest it's not don't think this is a thing of Protestants and Catholics, okay? This is about Christianity. Mm. Even the reformers Martin Luther, mm. even the reformer John Calvin mm. of the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, the Anglican traditions were crystal clear yes. and of one consensus with the Catholic leaders. This mm. was not the issue of the Reformation. I grew up uh, Protestant. I'm an Orthodox Christian. But don't get it in your head. Many people say, oh, it's only these Catholics okay, no. who mm. believe that there's a problem with the idea of contraception. It is not so. Mm. O- until just a few decades ago, yes. there was a widespread Christian consensus. Mm. I suggest to you, When you read the story of Onan, that the reason God killed Onan is because he interfered with the working of God in a way that amounts to something like sorcery. Yes. And back then, they didn't have condoms and the the, the, the things that we use, the chemical contraceptives. They only had that method of withdrawal. Withdrawal. And Onan did it deliberately because he was thinking about his own material future and putting it ahead Mm. of the sanctity it is of, actually mentioned in that story yeah, of what his reasons were yes. it says very clearly he, he was thinking to, about yes. wow this is going to divide my household mm. i'm going to have to divide my fields mm. he was thinking materialistically let me suggest to you christians we should step back christians of all denominations mm. examine our hearts think about what our priorities are and think about how God, God is the God who equips the called, he right? He does, he does. Marriage is a vocation and a calling that is not just for Roman Catholics. Mm-hmm. Marriage is a calling. It it's is. It's not just something for fun. It's it, very fun. It is very, very joyful. It is very... It's full of gladness, mm-hmm. full of rewards, but it is a way that we as Christians can serve God in the married life, mm-hmm. Protestant or Catholic mm-hmm. or Orthodox. Mm-hmm. And I'm suggesting to you that when we submit it to God, the way the mother of Jesus submitted, said, Be it done unto me according to thy will. Mm. When we submit our reproductive systems to God, we open ourselves up for big blessing. Yes. But when we sacrifice, instead of husbanding our reproductive systems, by the way, when the Bible talks about the seed which is sown, the mm. gospel, mm. even the parable of the sower mm. that Jesus said, mm. in the Greek, in the New Testament, mm. that word for seed is sperma. Yes. Sperma. Yes. Sperma. Yes. So, and, and Paul in Ephesians says, this is a great mystery, but the one flesh union between mm-hmm. husband and wife, it's mm-hmm. a great mystery, mm-hmm. but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So we are at the core, the very center, mm-hmm. the very nucleus of what Christianity is about. Yes. The first uh, mention of the covenant in Genesis 3 was, I will put enmity between mm-hmm. the seed of the serpent. Yes. And thy seed, the wow. woman's seed, wow. you see? Mm. And, and she said, behold, I have gotten a man-child of the Lord. So God's relationship mm. with the reproductive function is so intimate. It is. We need to be very fearful and very careful. And very careful. Wow, that's very, very powerful. I like the example you've given of Onan because that's the first time we hear of withdrawal, biblically. People would wonder, is that's that correct. in the Bible? It over is. Over and over and over. Do, <laughs> even the word womb, if you do a search in King yes. James for womb, over you 91 it. times, if you go reproduction, the mm. different words around, it's hundreds and hundreds you of will. times. You will, yes, you will get it. Well, uh, we're going to be taking in your questions on 21907, either to Jonathan or to Dr. Karanja. Feel free to just send your question on that particular text line in studio, which is 21907. Before we get any far, Doctor, I would just want you to address... Um, uh, the issue of this is a question that came from last time. I, I hope I will be able to get it correctly. Uh, the issue of um, uh, families or the uh, couples that are elderly that have had children and they want to stop. Um, listener, I want you to take your mental notebook and open up your heart to this truth because when you get it, you will be free. When every woman is created 
And I remind you again, in biology, in science, woman is a very special creation. Mm -hmm. Woman is created as the custodian of children. Mm -hmm. And the body of the woman speaks loudly and clear from the beginning when she can get a child mm. and when she is not able to, to accept it. a mm. child yes now i want to take you to these two things because people confuse them mm -hmm. most women every month they have what we call ovulation yes and uh, depending on the length of their cycle they have 12 to 14 ovulations in one year but most people think that that is tied to their fertility no mm. the menstrual cycle has nothing to do with fertility has mm. nothing to do with reproduction mm. and that is why those people who start counting days day 14 day 12 day what they are really completely mistaken in matters of science mm. wow. because women have a second cycle yes and me. this is called the fertility Sorry. cycle in the fertility cycle, for those ladies who are extremely fertile, they have six to eight of them in one year. Wow. wow. The men's cycles are 12 to 14. Mm. The fertility cycles are six to eight. Mm. In fact, most women have five to six fertility cycles per year. Mm. What is fertility? Fertility is the ability to conceive. Mm. And any woman from, the, from puberty up to menopause, when she has this ability, she must have three signs. Mm. If all of them three do not exist, mm. she cannot conceive. Sign one, she must feel slippery at the opening of her reproductive system mm. slipperiness therefore is the most consistent and most powerful sign, sign mm. of fertility, fertility. Mm -hmm. okay that slipperiness makes her feel wettish mm. there is difference between wetness and wettish mm. you can be as wet as a river tana mm. but you are not fertile, fertile. Mm. as long as you are not slippery mm. if your wettishness is a result of your being slippery then that is related to fertility and number three mm. there is always evident the cause of the slipperiness the cause of wettishness mm. and that is a mucoid makamazi type secretion that must always be there mm. if it is not there you are not fertile wow now a woman, depending on her genetic code, depending on her lineage, mm. has this for one to three days. Mm. She may be fertile for one day. And those who have very low fertility for one day are these ladies who get boys, 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 mm. and they are never able to get girls. Okay. Or she may have two days. And these ladies who are the majority who have fertility for two days, then these are the ladies who have boys and girls. Mm. Then you have the super mm. ladies, the ladies who are very, very fertile. Yes. And these ladies rarely have a boy. Mm. They always have girls, 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 wow. girl after girl. Because in no general, <laughs> because of being the custodians of fertility, yes. God desires that more girls be born than boys so that the human being can be sustained yeah. forever and multiply. Mm. And Nurturing. that is why this fertility when it comes, I can tell you, and this now for me, I've done for 35 years, mm. continuously following it and teaching it, mm. you can never fail. And when your fertility comes, you will never miss it, whether you have ever gone to school or you have been, or you have a PhD. Mm. When it comes, it is a female thing, mm. and it occurs in all females. Yes. And therefore, 
when a child is to be conceived mm -hmm. it is a decision that a woman directly makes mm -hmm. she wants to meet her spouse mm -hmm. because she wants uh, because she wants or she is ready or she is open mm -hmm. to a baby yes men are like pieces of god <laughs> They are there all the time. Yes. You catch him in the middle of a storm. Yes. And ask him, come in, my dear. I think I want a baby. And he'll give you a baby and go on with the horses doing in his mm. storm. Men are like that. Mm. But the custodians of wow. children mm. are women. Okay. And that is why in biology we say, if you see anybody playing any games, and especially poisoning the ability of this woman. Yes. To carry a baby yes. or to destroy a baby in her mm -hmm. or in all babies that she'll ever deliver, mm. then this person is really evil. And when I see the sea, the sea, the, the sea of Jonathan, mm. stop exporting evil. Yes. What Jonathan may be has not seen in this is that in Africa, including in this country, from America, mm. we were sent. They exported to us mm -hmm. an evil incarnate mm -hmm. that cannot be explained and whose value can never be explained mm -hmm. because it has no medical value. Mm -hmm. That was contraception. As a medical rule, mm -hmm. as a scientific fact, all contraceptives are poisons. Mm -hmm. They are. They, they mess are you up. They yeah. are created to as that. As mm -hmm. poisons, they are poisons. Mm -hmm. Number two, all human beings, I hope my brothers and sisters, you know this, that women never make their eggs. They are born with the totality of their eggs already made. 2.5 million of them. Are you serious? Yes, they never make a new egg. And therefore, when you poison a woman with the contraceptives, mm. It affects all the eggs all that the she eggs. has. All the eggs. I think you yeah. should say that because mm. people don't know that. Let me say it again. Mm. That every baby girl, by the time God creates her in her mother's womb, she is given all the load of all her eggs. Yeah. 2.5 million of them. And oh. they depreciate and get finished as she is growing. Mm. By the time she enters puberty, she has half a million eggs, which have experienced everything she has ever experienced. Oh. And therefore, when a lady starts taking contraception, mm. she does not only poison the egg that is growing in that cycle. Every other egg that she has it's affected. Who it's affected. is affected by those contraceptives. Mm. And that is why what you are seeing in the modern girls mm. with reduced fertility, yes. with the polycystic ovarian disease, mm. wow. with the irregular cycles, mm. with the miscarriages, with the blighted ova, it is all because their mothers had destroyed their fertility while they were still yeah. In their mother as eggs, okay. not as babies. It carries forth. It carries forth. When a woman takes a pill to take, she is taking a poison unto eternity. Mm. And it can destroy her, but she's only one. Mm. But when she destroys the, the future mm. and nobody tells her, mm. and somebody intends to do that, then you can talk of homicide, mm. and I can tell you, this is what I can say as a scientist, mm -hmm. as a gynecologist mm -hmm. who works on it every day, mm -hmm. who works with infertile women every day, yes. that the greatest evil that the West have ever given to Africa, mm -hmm. including to Kenya, contraceptives. is contraceptives, mm -hmm. and especially the hormonal ones. The genocidal. It's it beyond homicidal. Genocide. Genocidal. It's genocide. Mm -hmm. And it continues every day, and now they are giving it even to young school girls in the yes, form of what yeah. they are calling yeah. P2 yes. and P2, which is the morning after pill. Even amongst contraceptives mm. is a demonic pill. Mm. Even the other pills call it demonic because one morning after pill is composed of 50 normal pills put together. 
25 normal pills put it together yes. and they take two within 24 hours mm. they take 50 even if you hate something very much even if you if, i don't like satan i don't but you cannot give any human being mm. a child whose body is still developing mm. you cannot give them 50 tablets of levonorgestrel, mm -hmm. a hormone called levonorgestrel. That is what P2, that is what the morning after pill is conceived. It is actually destroying the future as you see it. Mm -hmm. And that does not end up there. Mm -hmm. So even some of the things that women might be facing in terms of miscarriages later and even struggling to conceive, some of them have everything to do with what, what their mothers did also breast cancer mm. oh, oh yes and in fact here now we've been doing some of us christian doctors we've been following it have been doing the count how many did you take for the first time in the la last 15 years oh, we no. have been seeing cancer of the breast amongst the age group 25 to 30 years mm. many 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 of them mm. these are basically still children mm. and we ask yourself what is common amongst them mm. nearly every one of them has been has taken p2 the morning after ah, peel lord have mercy yeah. when they were in secondary school when they Which were in primary school totally and when system. they take beyond four of them mm. the door of death is open to them oh, they yeah. are in school they will never finish in school and i ask myself god why do you allow this to happen to happen mm -hmm. but god has given the parent we another important office mm -hmm. the office of standing on behalf of god in your house every day yeah. morning and evening but you as a christian parent all not a christian at all a human being mm -hmm. who watches as your daughter has been influenced mm -hmm. to be able to take this poison into her body mm -hmm. that will destroy not only her body but will completely destroy the future mm. then it is evil incarnate that's why we have the language um, that we have in english and in other languages around the marriage and family relationship husband that comes from animal or plant husbandry right horticulture or taking care of a vine it so so what you have is a is a human husbandry mm. that god has anointed father and mother to be like priests in that household Amen. to be the to be the husbandman over a shamba so you would never allow your enemy uh, to, come, to come at night and just put uh, put chemicals all over your shamba to poison it you would defend it wouldn't you you would defend it and every time i have a very dear brother in the lord he's like a big brother to me uh, a few years older than me brother rick ellis uh, he's from texas and he he said to me one time you know jonathan when you when you become intimate with a woman hmm. It's an invitation. Hmm. It's an invitation in a language that God created. That's You're true. issuing an invitation. And then when you go and poison the fruit of that, of that invitation, it's like you invited people to dinner and you poison the food that you bring. And see, we would kill someone who did that. We yes. would take them to be executed or put in prison for life. Hmm. It's a very, very vicious thing, lower than any animal would do to issue an invitation and i'm suggesting that brother rick is right that when you young man or older man young woman when you become intimate with one another and you enjoy the physical joy the physical benefits um the uh, hormonal rush of that those things are all good but then uh, when you when you when you cut that off from the reproductive system and you begin to target and poison the reproductive system that's like inviting these children your children to dinner mm. and poisoning the food mm. or killing the dinner guests wow that's powerful i would want us to talk a little bit about um um uh, we have talked about abortion biblically and the stand of god on that uh, that is very clear yeah but i would want us to talk to talk about just even uh, some of the effects that people might not think are really serious of such things like abortion. We've had young girls lose their lives. Wow. Oh, yeah. And you are right. And uh, see, I've been a doctor now going to 40 years. And I have watched it. In abortion, remember, you can divide it grocery into two. Mm. 
One is what we call chemical abortions. That in millions and millions throughout the world, these are the chemical abortions that are caused by contraceptives themselves. Because in each contraceptive and without any failure, one of the mechanism of action is actually by causing abortion. Mm -hmm. But then you have what we call surgical abortion. Mm -hmm. And again, I would want to start with the definition of abortion. That abortion is the deliberate killing of an unborn person ex you know, exclusively. The processes that go on is to kill, is aimed at killing the baby. Abortion and miscarriage are completely unrelated. Yes, they Miscarriages are. happen naturally, mm. spontaneously. Abortions are caused by human beings. They deliberately to go deliberate. out to kill. Their aim is to kill the unborn person. Mm. Now, Dr. Karanja, can I may I ask you at this point and jump yes. in? When, when a woman uh, conceives um, an ectopic uh, pregnancy outside the uterus or such as a f uh, within the fallopian tubes, yes. and that fallopian tube must be removed or the, or the embryo must be removed before it bursts the fallopian tube, do you yes. consider that to be an abortion? It is. You can only abort a normal pregnancy. Mm. You can't do an abortion on a disease. Right. And therefore, ectopic pregnancy mm -hmm. is not normal pregnancy that you will deliberately mm -hmm. go out to kill the unborn person. Mm -hmm. You're trying to conserve human life. Ectopic pregnancy is a grave disease for the mother and the baby. And then, if you do nothing, the baby will obviously die, and the baby was destined to die from the beginning, right. and the mother will die also. Mm -hmm. And therefore, ectopic pregnancy is a disease. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you go out to treat the disease. By treating the disease, one of the things that happen is that the baby is killed. Yes. But this was not a normal pregnancy. It's not and, deliberate. Tho and those people who are insincere, those people who lie, they say that that because ectopic pregnancy must be treated, that if you say you you can't touch the baby, you are saying that you can sacrifice the woman. You may not no. You may not. No human being may ever sacrifice a woman. Right, right. Number two. A baby who can never survive will die anyway and kill with it the mother. That is not a normal baby. That is a diseased pregnancy. Mm. In a diseased pregnancy, mm -hmm. whether inside the womb or outside the womb, mm. must be treated, my brother Jonathan, by Thank you for answering. medical intervention. Because your, your intention is to conserve human life. I often use post. right. Yes. I often use the analogy. If I was a a, a railroad conductor, yeah. and I'm going down, uh, coming around the bend, you know, here in Kenya, around around the mountain, yeah. and I find a, an innocent baby has now crawled on the tracks. Yes. There's not time for me to stop. That's yeah. not even an option for yeah. me to stop. Yeah. I have two options: either I derail the train, yes. I kill more people, yes. or I run over that baby. Yes. Those are my only options. Yes. So I have no intention to kill the baby, yeah. but I'll run over that baby. It's yes. a rare instance. And it but doesn't, now I can't extrapolate from that and justify going around killing innocent babies. Yes. Because that's, that's, it's not yes. the same. And I think that's what happens. People are using a lot. mind tricks. Yes, yeah. that's happened a lot. And I would want you guys to address now spiritually because um, uh, sometimes when we've had cases of couples that cannot have children, yes. and God there is never an option. Like yes. trusting God and waiting of God yes. is never an option. Yes. Sure. We're not saying you should not go to the doctors and find out, yes. but uh, we, we um, it's like. The, the option of God can give you a child is not there at all, yes, at yeah. all. But He can. Yes, and he I would is, want to. Yes, I would want the to, womb opener. to encourage, yeah. especially because it is like if we have options to try other things, sure. then then 
you know, God doesn't want to give a child. It's it's okay. And even I would want you guys, uh, Jonathan as well, and you, even you from a, a medical perspective, as a doctor, we've had cases where couples, uh, the doctor will say this and this cannot happen because of this and this. But just for the couples that are, are trusting God for kids, the first option, as much as there's medical, is to tell them that God can do it. God can open the womb you, of a woman. You yeah. cannot say it any louder. Any trained doctor... Mm. Who gets in his office in the morning, mm. he meets in the office, either present, the ultimate healer, who is our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. Mm. in his office and invites him to join him in taking care of people, or he thinks he can do it alone. By himself. When he thinks when any doctor thinks he can do it alone, then he gets into a very dangerous situation mm -hmm. because he starts knowing in his small mind things that are possible and things that are not that's leaning on I your own you, understanding. Yes. Yeah, you're, you're touching on the fine line between the medical profession yes. and, and, and falling into sorcery. Yes. yes. Yeah. You do not know that. It is you are not having a baby now, but there is always tomorrow. Mm. And ultimately, why you do not have a baby may not be understood completely by, by biology. Yes. The True. biology itself does not understand the human mind. Yes. If it cannot understand the human mind, mm. how can it even try True. to understand human psychology and especially faith? There are things we can do, like going into the shamba and getting sukuma wiki and cooking it and eating it. That is human activity. Mm. But I would want to see a doctor who tells a patient, please breathe by giving him medication. Mm. There's, an inst there's, a, there's a couple that shared a testimony, a very powerful testimony. They've been married for 21 years. Yes. And um, they, they were not able to get a child... Um, uh, it's very funny that they, they they are Christians, so they would they were told. Of course, doctors will always find a reason, you know. They'll always find a medical reason. They'll explain to you that's according to their understanding. Sure. Yeah, and they told this couple this and this, and uh, and they even gave them some of the ways that ha uh, would show ninety nine point nine percent accuracy, and yet it did not work. Wow. And so they 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 are Christians. So as much as they, we're not saying we should not get medical consultation, they would do that. They will do that. They will do that. And uh, they even went out of the country. They tried everything, and all the doctors would give them. And they told them this one: if it doesn't work, it means you're on the zero point zero 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 percent. And funny thing, can you imagine? Fourteen years later, without doing nothing, without doing anything of what the doctor has said or, or anything. They actually got a child. Wow. As a matter of fact, the woman did not even know. It was at week six that some funny, funny... And, and of course, they didn't even expect that because they had 14 years. Yes. And they got a child. The story does not end there. After the, after the 14 years of getting a child, they thought, okay, maybe the problem is fixed. Huh. They tried getting a child. They didn't get a child until eight years later. Wow. Yes. What a story. It Imagine is, that. And that, the world is actually full of that. The, even human life itself mm -hmm. is full of that. That above everything. There's and I always it. tell my friends, it doesn't matter how educated you are, above everything else, God is there. Yes. Overall. And he is, in fact, the, 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 the provider of your knowledge too. Mm -hmm. And I wish to say this, that in this country, because of what has been imported and export, imported and brought here by force, by coercion but from the Western governments, from Europe, but mainly from America. Hmm. At present, nearly one third of all the young people getting married, they cannot have a child. Hmm. Oh, that's one third, one in three of couples getting married now cannot have a child. Why? Because they have been poisoned, not because God has willed it. Mm. When were they poisoned? They were poisoned again, like we said, especially those born after 1970 to now. They were poisoned when their mothers were unmarried and their mothers were on contraception. Mm. They were married 
and especially the most dangerous ones are the ones we have today and uh, jonathan and tess mm -hmm. in your prayers every day yes please remember to pray for any woman in this country mm -hmm. who is breastfeeding a child and is taking contraception oh my lord because we've had we've had the extreme cases yes and i i really feel <coughs> i was in a meeting i even mentioned our conversation and i said i feel like there's so much information about contraceptives, about implants, about injections, about all these things, and v not very much information about these other uh, op options that are actually there. Right. So it's right. like, you know, the, the people have no place because if the practitioners have decided these are the things we're pushing, there are other things that they're not going to give information that can actually work. Well, we touched, that's correct. We touched last time on two of the reasons, the overarching, the philosophical reasons that why the they are doing this. It's not why they say it's because they say they want they, to help people. Yes, they don't. And make if you life want better. to give them all the options, <laughs> and yes. if you truly are a doctor, give them all the information. Give them all the information. Yeah. Tell them yes, there are these contraceptives. Yes. There's this and this. There's this other way. So, Let the person. But if you're just picking the two things that you'd share with someone, right? It means you're being selfish. You have a a, a motive behind that. No, I, I don't want to abuse people, but I, I also don't want to. S imply that all the doctors of or all course. the people giving these things or all the Mar Marie Stopes workers going yes. around pushing these things are are part of the conspiracy. They're mm. not. Some people are just being used. Yes, Some they people are. really believe the propaganda. Mm. But what I'm saying is when you get be behind the propaganda, what they're really trying to do is to curb uh, reproduction, mm. to manage the human herd. There are people behind the scenes who have concluded mm. that there is no God but themselves, mm. and it is their responsibility to manage mm. human herd reproduction. Because it's and very sad that there are women that do not know of the things that a doctor is talking about. They don't know that they can actually not use any chemicals. They do and not still know. And responsibly and, yes. reproduce. Yeah. And, and conceive and plan. Yes. They call it family planning, right? Yeah. Yeah. And plan without... Plan in this. collaboration with God <laughs> instead of fighting God. That's yes. the distinction. We're not saying you shouldn't plan. Yes. Plan as... A worker alongside God, God yes. Yes. Plan as you would God. in the garden. He's the one who makes it grow. Plan with you collaborate God. with yes. Him. I always tell mothers that in this country, I expect every couple to have a child when the other one is between four and six children. The four and six years. That is, space your children three to four years minimum. Space your children best four to five years and never use contraception mm. and i always i have challenged you listener for the last 30 years that you, if you have ever heard my voice i've challenged you to come to me make a group and call me and i will come teach. and i will teach you together and if any of you fails mm -hmm. then you will have made a record Listen it up. does not fail. This is written by God and is written in stone mm. in your body, the in your heart. Available. I like the there. example you gave last time of the yes. Turkana women. Yeah? Yes. And even right now, there are communities in Kenya that have no idea what contraceptives are. They yes. have no idea all those things. Are they not planning? They are planning. They are, are, planning. Planning. are they not spacing their children? They, they are, are spacing. Are they getting any of the side effects? No. no. And their children are not getting the, uh, they are not getting this complication. You know, some people worry why some communities in this country, communities like the El Geo, the Maraquet, when you go to one the to one the Trukana, you get one the Pokot. Why is it that those children are in their community who end up in school becomes extremely brilliant? Is because they were never poisoned. Their mind oh is the way God wanted it. In fact, they are so brilliant, you can't believe it. Everybody who has gone beyond class 8, they finally end up becoming professors and what and what because their parents never poisoned them. And I think it's a, way, matter, it's a very spiritual matter because yeah. uh, the enemy does not want to mess with anything but the foundation. Good yes. point, good point. Think about, we talk about Satan, the devil is a liar. We always talk... Think about who he is. He's a real person. Okay, yes. He's not a human being. Mm. He entered into Judas Iscariot, who was a human being. So, but he's not a human being. Mm. And, the peop and his deputies, the demons, the devils, the fallen angels, sure. there's a limited number of them. Yes. One thing they cannot do 
is reproduce. Yes. And they're having to deal with human beings made in the image of God, yes. the same image that Jesus was in the womb of Mary. So the big threat, one of the big threats from his perspective, mm. is how can I deal with my limited resources yes. as Satan? There are no in, more demons yeah, yeah. that are coming every Exactly. Day. Yes. Get into the mind of the devil. How can I deal with people made in the image of God mm. who can be fil filled, at least they potentially, can, yes, with the Holy speak. Spirit? Sure. Who can become the children of God? Mm. I have got to do something, or this is going to get out of my control. Mm. So whatever lie he can bring in to bear. And by the way, some of these chemical contraceptions. There have been studies that uh, I've read the articles about the studies. I haven't read the studies themselves. Dr. Karanja may have, mm. but they they showed these changes. They're not only um, in the ovaries or mm. in the reproductive system. It affects the entire physiology, yes, especial, especially the uh, chemical contraceptives, the implant. It does. Uh, you pill, can talk to women who had very bad experiences. Their proportions change. And their does God change. want that? Does, does God want you to plan uh, and use these things and mess the body Their that he has changes. He has created you in his own image and That's likeness? Right. Because every time we're missing our bodies, we are missing the image and the likeness of God. That's right. Their personalities change. They have, they have demonstrated that women who are consistently taking chemical contraceptives actually are attracted to more effeminate men, less mm -hmm. dominant men. When they come off the pill, they're attracted to more dominant alpha males. They even say, the doctor, they even say when in those pills they write that yes. they are have side effects. They actually write that. They, 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 and they, you know, and they say that and psychological. They say there's nothing that doesn't have side effects. During <laughs> my own training, mm. I can tell you the, qualifica the, the classification of contraceptives. During my own training in the 70s and, uh, and, and, and uh, in the 70s, Mm. Contraceptives, alcohol, dope, cigarettes were all classified together. You could not bring them one kilometer from a, from, from a health facility. Mm. And that wow. is why in this country there was no contraception in any health facility mm. up to 1982. Something happened very special in this country in 1982. Mm. A group called International Planned Parenthood oh. Federation who owns 80 to 90 percent of all contraceptives in the world came and talked to our, our government. And those people who are in government Allowed. then did not have enough in science yes. and they could to never know. bring themselves to ask. So it is the place of the government. They were given they were given the six vaccines you see children getting. And for getting those six vaccines that you see children getting for free, they allowed contraceptives to be brought into medical facilities. And for those of you who are there then, you saw them change what we considered sacred maternal child health facility in every hospital is considered sacred. It is secret. It is high security. You can't go in because that's where the future wow. is brewed. That's sad. That's true. Then they put a line struck FP mm. 1982 to 1985. IPPF was allowed to come in in exchange of six vaccines that some of them are necessary. But of most importance is that those people beyond 1982, mm. very few Kenyan women had been poisoned. Most of the most most of the brilliant Kenyans in this country mm -hmm. were born beyond before 1985. Mm. Anybody after this, they burn schools, they go, they shout on the road, they kill themselves, they fornicate. The country has fallen apart. Why? Because the children you see now at the university, in secondary schools, as teachers, in parliament working are all children of contraception their mind is different mm. they are not very human mm. their personality is not very human because contraception destroys even twisted your twisted mind the, the it minds. twists there you into something that you can see a whole headmaster Th throwing a stone and saying haki yangu, mm. haki yangu. Mm. and the children are watching mm. and not asking what is it am i teaching the yes, youth children. this is the fruits of allowing a country to be poisoned and i can say 
without any fear of contradiction mm. that the person who opened the door for poisoning in this country was our government mm. i repeat our government because the government has authority yes, to does. say no. that no poison will come to this country because it's no use to my people mm. remember in 2003 mm. president kibaki refused north plant to come mm. the american president had already banned north plant in america mm. and when he banned it there president kibaki refused Bandit. to come here i remember seeing graduate ladies and the most slick ladies in this country after being paid enough mm -hmm. by ippf by mary's tops mm -hmm. by the pathfinder fund they were on the road with branches and demonstrating for three days asking where well, bring our northland bring our ah. northland bring our northland there's, there's a side of of business that i want us to talk about but now as we we're going to take a break and listen to the truth and, and get truth of him news but now i want us to talk of is there hope for those of us that you know what we know the truth what can we do now there's all this yeah, there's but hope. There's yes, hope. And there's our hope always is in hope. repentance. Oh, yes. oh, repentance. Mm. And I would want us to talk about that. There are probably couples that are listening that think, I need to stop this. That's right. Yeah, That's I right. need to remove this thing in Today. my body. Today, Today is the day. Today. Yes. Today is the day of salvation. And tomorrow, and repentance. there is. Yes, we're gonna take life. we're gonna take a look uh, at that. Two one nine zero seven is my text line. With me in studio is Doctor Karanja. I also have Jonathan as well, talking about matters of contraception. We're talking about abortion. We're talking about planned pregnancies, uh, planned families, and even the stand of God in all this. We'll have Truth FM news from one Chris Midamba. That is the voice of Michael W. Smith with the single Surrounded. We're about to finalize with Dr. Karanja and Jonathan in studio. And is there hope? Ah, there's hope. I'm really encouraged by that Michael W. Smith song. Yes. Uh, it may look like I'm surrounded, but, but I'm surrounded, surrounded by, by God. God, by the power of God. Mm. It really encouraged me and it reminded me of that scripture. Uh, the wicked flee. I think it's from the Proverbs. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them. Yes. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. Now, if anyone's listening right now from IPPF, International Planned Parenthood, or IPASS, or Marie Stopes, or Rockefeller Foundation, or any of these um, moneyed Western NGOs or agents coming to kill these children, mm. or to put these poisons in the mouths of African people and mm. Kenyan people. Listen up now. I was talking to Dr. Karanja yes. during the news, yes. and we were discussing, and we were just feeling the spirit of power. The Amen. angels of these children Amen. and of these innocents who are being killed Amen. and poisoned, they have something to say to you. Mm. We're not afraid of you. In fact, we're coming to get you. Mm. Legally, lawfully, and in order. Mm. But we're coming to drive you out mm. of this country. Mm. In decency and in order. Because no decent country should host any of you here. Amen. Are you hearing me? Mm. We are not afraid of you. If you want to come put me in jail again, uh, whatever factions of FBI or Western law enforcement have decided to characterize me as a bad guy, even though they have no charges, come get me. Amen. Come do it. I'm ready for you. And because you know what? We are not powerless. Dr. Karanja is not powerless. The people of God are Amen. not powerless. Number one, we have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth mm -hmm. we have his word in our lips and we are not mark my words we are not afraid of you on top of that we are coming to shut you down by the power of the angels of those children and by the power of god himself we're not afraid of you that but you will be afraid be of us mm -hmm. that will be done mm -hmm. Is there hope of course there is yeah, hope our god hope. is a good god of hope mm -hmm. but Biology is a creation. Biology is natural law. is the law of God and it gives you hope also. Mm -hmm. I can tell you today, all the women who, are, who can hear me now and tell your friends who are taking contraceptives and they are breastfeeding, please stop. Mm -hmm. And if you are so poisoned you can't stop do not breastfeed your child again protect the future mm. 
any child who is being breastfed when you are taking that will be destroyed will be affected for the rest of his life and especially the year reproduction they will not be able to reproduce normally mm. stop what do you do then if you stop taking contraception mm. what do you do please space your children naturally how do you know when you can stop like i said before even other very distant tribes in this country use natural ways mm -hmm. what is the natural method number one never count days counting days the calendar method is some form of witchcraft don't use it day 14 day 12 day 10 day 18 all that is biologically not workable do not use it so don't count days mm -hmm. Do not do withdraw. Onan was killed because he withdrew. He withdrew and God struck him dead because those seeds are the carriers of life and therefore do not pour them down. Withdraw scientifically is wrong. And I can also tell you the most beautiful thing about withdraw if a woman is fertile, she will conceive anyway. Because even the little fluid that lubricates has enough male enough seeds to make her or to make her pregnant. So you are withdrawal, you just cursing yourself for no reason at all. No withdrawal. So what else is these things that you can do for men wearing a condom? Please do not do. It is not only that it is withdrawal, but I can tell you it has been studied and been found clearly and you can go to any literature and find mm -hmm. that the failure rate of the condom for preventing pregnancy is all the way up to 50 percent mm -hmm. and if so and the reason is quite clear why it fails like that because a woman is fertile in very very few days of her life mm -hmm. five to six times in one year 99% of the time you use the condom thinking that you are preventing pregnancy, you are just wasting your time. Mm. She cannot get pregnant anyway. Mm. And when a woman can get pregnant, even if you wear three condoms, she will still become pregnant because what will be spilled on the sides will still make her pregnant. So it is a useless tool in the use for contraception. Mm. It is just as it is useless when controlling sexual transmitted diseases like human papilloma visa, viruses which cause cancer in women or herpes genitalis hepatitis B and all other diseases remember 98 percent of all the 78 sexually transmitted infections are transmitted by touch mm. not from the semen or secretions mm. and therefore the condom is a waste of time get rid of that gadget give it back to IPP uh, to IPP give it back to IPAS it is really no use and above all every day and I call on each one of you and especially for the Christians here, I am talking like a Christian doctor. I call on you to pray every day mm -hmm. that this country one day will get a president and leaders of every place who will say that the people of Kenya will not be poisoned again mm -hmm. and will stop IPPF, International Planned Parenthood Federation, will prevent IPAS, will prevent Mari stops just like Museveni did in his country and will send them out of this country and say our people are the greatest resource that this country have Amen. but you need a strong government to be able to stand up to these bullies, to be able to stand up to the Bill Gates who comes all the way from America and goes to Kibera and instead of giving them clear, clean water, instead of giving them toilets, he comes to give them more and more contraception. Our people Poison. as a doctor in this country, mm. I have seen so much poisoning. I'm now an old man, but a young man because I'm going to be saying this, God willing for the next 50 years that please let us build this hope that I can teach 
all the Kenyans together on a platform like this or any other platform. I can teach you how to space children for as long as you want without ever so poisoning you yourself. Say. You can't say that there is no alternative. Wow. It is not alternative. God put it in you. Is only that you are told it is not there and for you medical people who have been taught by those your superiors who have been paid to teach you and to completely indoctrinate your mind and prevent you from learning natural family planning mm. to please learn it and if you want to learn it anywhere call me i'll teach you for free i will not charge you because this is a gift uh -huh. of god and this gift should be given free you cannot plead ignorance. Mm -hmm. You can no longer you plead ignorance. You can. If you're within the reach of our voice or mm -hmm. of anyone who's within the reach of Dr. Karanja's voice, you can no longer plead ignorance. I want to talk specifically now to certain believers. And I want to bring to bear uh, a passage from the book of Acts, mm -hmm. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8. You can read it yourself at home. Everyone who has a Bible, Acts chapter 8, tells the story of a certain person called Simon the Magician. Uh, the sorcerer, Simon Magus, yeah. Simon the sorcerer, Acts 8 says he was a believer. When Philip came preaching, Simon believed. Mm -hmm. So he did not deny the gospel. He did not even deny the resurrection of Jesus Christ or the power thereof. But when Peter, now another Simon, Simon Peter, in this chapter we have Simon fighting Simon. Simon versus Simon. Now Simon the magician there in Samaria uh, believed, he believed in the power that the apostles had. And then when they came laying hands on people, giving people the power of the Holy Ghost, he said, here's money. I'm going to take this money and give it to you. Lay hands on me also so I can receive this power. Okay? Yes. So he believed. So I'm talking to you believers who have approached the Bible, approached the power of God, approached the Word of God and the testimony of God from Genesis to Revelation in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Peter said, the bonds of iniquity were on the heart of Simon. Even though he was a believer, he was a believer who had approached the Word of God and the power of God in the wrong way. There are Sunday school teachers and pastors out here right now who are teaching contraception. Let me suggest to you, you are standing in the manipulative tradition of Simon the sorcerer. You are looking at the Bible like a book of witchcrafts. Like this is the my key to financial success, material success, material well-being. And while, yes, the Bible does connect you to many of those things, that's not the point of the Bible. Mm -hmm. You fundamentally, iniquity being in your heart after the tradition of Simon the Magician, you fundamentally misunderstood. You see this thing called contraception. Mm -hmm. It's made up of two root words. Contra, meaning against. against. Like the Bible said, I'll put enmity, war, between the seed of the serpent, the seed of the woman. Contra meaning against, and conception. Hmm. Now, if God is the God of Abraham, who opened the womb of Sarah, Amen. the God of Adam and Eve, who Amen. Eve said, I have gotten a man-child not of my own doing, she said, of the Lord. Amen. The God who opened the womb of the mother of Samuel, who was barren. Amen. The God who opened the womb of the mother of Samson. All the way through the Old Covenant, into the mother of John the Baptist, Elizabeth, who was barren. The distinctive of the God of Abraham, he is the womb opener among all gods. Mm. He's the one who closes and opens the womb. When you teach people, Sunday school teachers and pastors, it's time to repent. Yesterday was the time to repent because when you teach people to contraception, mm. to fight wow. the one who opens and closes the womb, mm. you are now in the tradition of biblical and anti-biblical witchcraft. The abuse of the Bible, the abuse of the Word of God as a form of witchcraft. Mm. Now you know. Thank wow. you. Thank you, Jonathan. That's very, very, very powerful. But I want to say this to you also, those who are out there, and especially you, my brothers and sisters, and especially those who believe in God. Number one, we've talked about contraception. Do not allow the coil, the intrauterine device to go out behind you and lie to you that I am and I am safe, I am not a chemical. No. There is only one mechanism of action of the coil known. 
the coil works by causing early abortion by killing the baby by killing the unborn person very early on it has no other way of doing it it has been made stronger to do that by the use of copper and therefore most of them will have copper now hmm. but in this country and the most unfortunate thing is that those people who wear the coil 70 to 80 percent of them will never have a child again because there are two strings which hang in the birth canal mm. and act as the ladder through which infection climbs up and most of them end up with with fallopian tube blockage mm. blocked tubes is one of the greatest problems we have in marriages in this country is breaking marriages mm. is making marriage incompetent and all this has been planned and implanted by people who we who think they are helping you mm. and who are actually propagating the spirit of evil the spirit of affecting the african family the spirit of affecting you so that you cannot give glory to god and that is the spirit of the coil the coil nowadays you'll also find they are put in in levano gestural in it they put one limb of no plant in it and they call it merina mm. and they are giving to ladies now in this country and especially those who can afford telling them that it will also reduce the amount of your bleeding mm. of course if you take you take contraceptives if you abuse your ovary and your ovary is the bearer of your eggs and all your eggs you were born with and then you suppress them then of course your bleeding is going to get less then in fact you even your periods can disappear completely mm -hmm. like they do when you get depo provera when this happens then you get chronic mm -hmm. inflammation inside your womb mm -hmm. endometritis and then when wow. you try to conceive again then you can't conceive because you have adhesions you have your womb attached together your periods become very little oligomenorrhea and then you are now a daughter of tears a daughter who had one child a daughter who was lied to and there is no reason why you should be lied no, to in God this forbid, country God you, you should not happen mm -hmm. and because it is happening you can refuse it mm -hmm. and you may think that before you had no option there was no truth now true truth fm has brought mm -hmm. this to you now that's right please take it seriously for you because it's not only for you it is for you and your daughters and your friends that you do not need to have depo provera nobody needs to inject you with a femi plan nobody needs to give you to to put a coil in you you do not need to take when your baby is breastfeeding you do not need to take microlute mm -hmm. you do not need to take morning after pill and you are not even mature you are in school you are not even married i can tell you your body is meant to be pure you may not fornicate because i can tell you one of the most powerful actions on earth is called sexual contact is relationship is intimacy when it happens it can never for be forgotten forever it is a mark you have put on yourself forever never have it till you are married and you can share this with your spouse when we get rid of that then we are on the way to resurrecting this country right. to resurrecting That's this right. world right. and building a platform where seeds of purity where seeds of truth where seeds of what is good where seeds of God. Christianity. That's right. God loves God. sex and I'll sexuality so much yes. he created it to be a symbol yes. of his relationship with his people. With his people. Yeah. Another mechanism, correct me if I'm wrong, doctor, yes. Yes. of some of these chem chemical contraceptives, uh, which are abortifacient, yes. by the way, mm. is starvation. That endometrium, that rich 
lining of the uterus, which is there for the to nourish the child, yes. for the child to for the conceptus to to pl implant into, is reduced to the point where there's nowhere for the child to plant himself. You so are that right. hungry child you is being are, starved. You are right. Yes. You are right, Jonathan. In fact, remember what we said that every contraceptive is an abortifacient. Mm -hmm. Now, what does abortifacient mean? Abortifacient means the ability to cause abortion. Mm -hmm. How does it cause abortion? By reducing the food in the lining of the womb which takes care of the baby. Mm -hmm. A baby who is implanted right. in this garden without food, without water, this baby dies and this pre-born baby is then aborted a person a person. person made in the image of god now connect yes. that with what jesus said in the gospel of matthew yes. when he said uh in as much as he did it not unto the least of these my brethren he mm. did it not unto me and those people said well when lord when did we see you hungry and we didn't feed you yes now don't think it's silly maybe maybe sometimes mm. it was when he was in the form of that tiny child in the womb and the endometrium was deliberately stripped away. Mm -hmm. And that child was starved to death because he said, not the middle, but inasmuch as he did it unto the least. Oh, oh, the yeah. least of oh. these, my brethren. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Our time is way gone. But just, uh, uh, doctor, give us your contacts. And Jonathan as well, if someone would want to reach you. Of course, uh, the radio time is very <laughs> little. Someone might want more. I have several messages here. And so I think the best way is just to probably... Give your contact and tell us how people can be able to reach you and meet up with you. 20 minutes is over? Yes. It is over. <laughs> I am, you can find me, <laughs> but you can call me at 0722-788962. I am stationed at the Upper Hill Medical Center mm -hmm. on the third floor. Uh, office suit 3E, the office written, St. Michael's Medical Care. Mm. And I'm Jonathan O'Toole of Project Stop Exporting Evil. That's Project C, Project S E E dot com. Mm. Click on contacts 0718 439 838. That's 0718 439 838. Project C, S E E dot com. Mm. All. There is a lot of things I want here to say, yes. and I say this from my heart. The Truth FM, mm. you and everybody who stands and who has made this work, yes. please yes. accept this gratitude. Thank, Thank you When so you much. give this platform sure. for this kind of work, it is not to us you give it. No. It is to God, Amen. the Almighty, Amen. and the people, those who will be rich from this platform, mm. every blessing. And the angels of those innocent oh, children, they, come back they are here real. And Amen. bless you amen. and take you to where you have always wanted to amen go. Amen and yes. amen. Thank you so much. Just one more uh, once more, you can give the contacts as, again as we finalize. Sure. Jonah O'Toole, J O N A O T O O L E, at gmail.com. Project C dot com. That's P R O J E C T S E E dot com. Hmm. And 0718 439 838. Doctor? Dr. Stephen K. Karanja, 0722 Eight nine six two Upper Hill Medical Center near Nairobi Hospital, mm -hmm. third floor, mm -hmm. 3E St. Michael's Medical Care. And Amazing. we say the preborn deserve the same defense as the, born. As, the born. as the born. Thank you so much for finding time to come and educate us today. Thank you. We truly appreciate it. Well, a very good afternoon to you. We're going to fin finalize with a word of prayer and just thank God for all that we've shared today right here on Pathfinder. Good afternoon.